Uh, hi there. My name's Blake, and I think, you know, this will be my third video. I think my other ones have gone a bit long, so I'll try to keep this one short and to the point. Today, I am going to be talking about form, specifically phrase structures, the sentence, and the period. Um, this is going to be information from William Kaplan's The Classical Form. So I'm just going to show a part of a presentation I have, um, a little, you know, a little bit more formal organization, but we're going to look at some examples of classical form. So let's give it a go. Um, according to Kaplan, the three most uh, formal important form of processes are the sentence, the period, and the small ternary. So we're going to probably get through sentence and period today in our in our five minute uh, video. The sentence structure is an eight measure structure. It consists of two uh, sections. So the first four bars are called the presentation phrase. That's where we're going to hear our melody. That's where we're going to hear our motivic idea, and then we're going to continue that by sort of taking that material and breaking it apart. Um, hearing it and then ending it with a cadence. So again, measures one and two, start with that tonic motivic idea. We're going to repeat that either exactly, maybe transposed um, over some other type of harmony. We're then going to take that melodic material. And we're going to break it apart. We're going to move a little bit faster. Um, we're going to do something with it to make it a little bit different, have some contrast. And then we're going to end with our cadence. So let's look at uh, a pretty well-known example from a Beethoven piano sonata. So here we have our basic idea. So we have tonic harmony and we have two gestures that make up this basic idea. We have this rising staccato chord note motive, and then we have a falling sort of more fluid um, motion. And we're gonna go ahead and repeat that this time over dominant harmony. And we're gonna notice that our motive while basically everything is the same has been transposed. So it's slightly different. Um, then we're going to go ahead and have our continuation. In this case, you notice the harmony is moving a little bit faster. We now have one chord for per bar instead of two chords. And we're going to take just the second half of our motive and we're going to repeat it. So we were fragmenting our basic idea and we're going to end with our cadence. And we're going to notice that the, mel the melodic material that we're using is not derivative. It's not coming from our basic idea. It's just sort of conventional melodic ideas. So again, basic idea, repetition of basic idea, continuation somehow using the basic idea, but screw, you know, messing with it a little bit. And then we have our cadential, uh, cadential idea cadence at the end, in this case, a half cadence. Um, we have our period. So uh, the period is going to be the other type of phrase structure we're going to see a lot. It's an eight measure structure again. And in this case, we have two other things we're calling it. We have the antecedent and we have the consequent. The antecedent begins similar to this, this, the sentence with our basic idea. But instead of repeating it, we're going to have a contrasting idea. We're going to have something else going on. Um, this is going to be followed by a repetition of the basic idea and then a contrasting idea that will end in a cadence. So let's look at Mozart and a Klein and Nock music. All right, so again, we have an eight bar phrase. Uh, we're starting off here with our tonic harmony. And we have sort of two general parts of our basic idea that we're going to have. We have this rising motion and we have a falling motion. Uh, then we have the contrasting idea, which uh, goes away from tonic harmony. It ends in a half cadence. And here we have sort of this falling motion that comes from this initial rising motion. So we've sort of we flipped that over. And then we have the uh, this motion here repeated again. So we're fragmenting the, cons, uh, the basic idea. But then we have an exact repetition with a little ornamentation you can hear in the, the strings. Um, and we end with the contrasting idea leading into our 
uh, into our cadence. And that is going to sort of, again, have conventional melodic material, not from our basic idea. So the period structure, it, unlike the sentence structure, starts with the basic idea and then it goes to a different idea first before returning to the basic idea and ending the phrase with a cadence. So I hope that this has been a very brief look at two extremely important formal structures within um, sort of small phrases, the sentence and the period. And um, we can look at more examples of those later. So thank you for your time. We'll see you in the next video.